Hey, what's going on guys? This will be part 12 of the Ultimate Guide to Dark Souls 2. We're going to go ahead and cover Grave of Saints, a completely pointless area. Uh, yeah, and you'll see why it's a pointless area once we... We've got a few things to explain, but then once you see it all, you'll be like, why is this even in the game? Yeah, this is just not good. So first thing you want to do is, of course, get your silver cat ring on, and we're going to do this. So remember, we bought the silver cat ring in part 9. So From Sweet Shell Quar for 13,400? Yeah. Now, as you see there, we picked up a Faris Lockstone. Now, what you can do is, if you don't want to do Lysia's quest, you need to remember this, if you don't care about Lysia's quest, you can bonfire Aesthetic Medulla and then just drop down here and farm infinite Faris Lockstones for as many as you want. Yeah. So that's an interesting thing to remember. And you also get one in the mansion as well if you if you um, bonfire aesthetic. Yeah, so this is the first bonfire. Now from this point onwards, by the way, you can be dragged into the Rat Covenant. As soon as you go through that doorway, you can be dragged into the Rat Covenant, which really is a covenant that serves to fuck itself over, to be honest. Yeah, you might want to just play this bit offline, to be honest. No. Yeah, because it's only going to take you 10 minutes to fly through it. So firstly, we're going to show you the shortcut, which completely skips the area. Mm -hmm. So there is an easier way to do this, by the way, that I've found, which is if you go back to Medulla, you bought the 12,000, yeah, exactly, you can avoid that. Um, you got the 12,000 point ladder from Gilligan. Yeah. If you go to the bottom of that, on the platform that's on, you can just walk off of it and you'll land on the platform down below. Ah, okay. Otherwise, this is what you do if you don't have the ladder. Remember, we bought the 12,000 ladder. Yeah, that platform there, yeah. you can just walk straight off of it onto the platform down below. Now remember, we bought the 12,000 ladder off, Gil off Gilligan in the last video, so remember to buy that because you want that 12,000 ladder if you... If you care about the forgotten key, yeah. you want that last ladder. Which we'll show you in the Black Gulch video. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get by buying that ladder, as we covered in the last video, you also get the Melu Scimitar. Uh, if now, you want that. That was a, uh, the Ring of Evil Eye plus one, which makes it pretty much no point in buying it off Sweet Shell Quar because you need to buy the Silver Cat Ring off her regardless, so you might as well just yeah. buy the Silver Cat Ring and get the plus one version of the Evil Eye Ring instead of the normal one that she sells. Mm -hmm. Now there's meant to be a crystal lizard here, we got that in part 9 also, so look at part 9 if you want to see how to get that crystal lizard. It's pretty much just in, on that bridge before the jump as you walk through. So that's the Ash Knuckle Ring, um, if I remember rightly the Ash Knuckle Ring isn't the one that slows equipment degradation, it's the other one that... Fuck, I forgot what it does. I'm going to look up and see what it does now. Alright, so the Ash Knuckle Ring is kind of useless. It's petrification resistance, which you really should not have a problem with. And now we're going to utilise the short pull because if you just wait, these guys will funnel themselves out for you. When they get close enough to the bottom of the bridge, you can lock on and it makes your chance, it makes it like a little bit easier yeah. to deal with. But there's like six or seven of these guys down here. I think there's six, three on each side. Now, what you can also do, by the way, is if you don't have a bow, you can go down and you can just bait them to you because after they explode, they die. Yeah, so the, you these can ones just, are the ones yeah. that die when they explode. The ones with the like sort of fil uh, the the flaming belly are the ones that just die after they explode. So you can just you, you can use that to your advantage as well. Now, I, from that uh, the ash knuckle ring, you might have saw that there was an item there on like a little ledge. You can't get that if, from here. Yeah, you need to go the long way around to get mm. it, and that's a pretty cool thing. But at the same time, it's not it's yeah. not really neat. So this is the way down to the gutter, which we're going to cover in the next part. Um, this is just us showing you the shortcut for this area first. Yeah, so you can do that without even through this area, you can get down to the gutter no problem. Just so you guys are aware of that. Um, now what we need to do is get, well, we're going to restore humanity because I fell off the, uh, the ledge trying to make that drop. But from this point onwards, you can be pulled into the Grey Covenant. The Rat Covenant. The, yeah, the Rat Covenant. The Grey Phantoms can pull you into the world. Um, basically all that really means is that you go into their world as an invader and you go kill them. Um, they can utilise all the floor traps and shit like that to make it a little bit more inconvenient, but if you can't be bothered killing them, you can just run straight to the boss fog and that stops the, right away. Now, rats are a bit of a pain here. Um, you shouldn't really have a problem. If you do get petrified, then unlucky. But we've never, ever, ever been petrified. No, ever. I've played this game countless hours. I've played this game in NG+. I'm on like NG+, 3 now, currently, and still never been petrified, and I haven't even worried about petrification resistance once. Yep, so you really shouldn't uh, have have an issue with being petrified. Just just make sure the, the petrify meter doesn't go up full, but it doesn't really go up that fast anyway. Exactly. So. Um, now, there are a lot of Faris contraptions on the floor. You only need to use one Faris lockstone in this area, and we're yeah. going to show you that's a little bit later on in this video, so don't get curious and use that, because the majority of these are really for the Rat Covenant, because they deploy traps and shit like that, because it is a Rat Covenant area. Um, they'll use the Faris stones and like drop... 
um, basically pulls on the floor that break your gear within seconds of touching it. Now, as you just saw there, these rats can, for some reason, drop, drop warmth. warmth. Uh, they can also drop other things. Um... Oh, yeah. Alright, so the rats drop warmth, as you just seen. Poison moss, repair powder, which is very handy. Um, they drop rat tail, which is to rank up the rat covenant, and they also drop old radiant life gems. Uh, which means there are a few things here you can farm off of them, especially the poison moss repair powder and radiant gems. You can farm these here and it won't cost you anything because there is a bonfire just there. Yeah, and now so you'll be invaded here by Royal Explorer. In previous versions of this game, he respawned infinitely, so he was a good way of leveling up the uh, co Champions Covenant. Yeah, Champion Covenant. Because when you join that covenant, you beat a Red Phantom Invader and you got an Awe Stone. And that's what you used to level up. Yeah. But it doesn't respawn infinitely anymore, so you don't need to bother about that at this yeah. point. He does respawn infinitely if you're doing this in NG+, plus, or if you're doing... In fact, even if you're just in NG, if you bonfire aesthetic the next bonfire, and then come back, go down the ladder we just climbed up, and then climb back up, Roy the Explorer will invade again, and he invades 12 times per bonfire aesthetic. So, once he stops invading, you drop another one, because he's quite simple to take care of. You can go onto the bridge and use force to knock him off, shit like that. Um, it makes it quite easy to take care of him. So, you can see some rats through there. Now, they'll, they won't, they'll only chase you as you're coming out. Yeah. So, the whole point is, is like you, you see them, and you're like, oh, they're not doing anything, and then you walk out, and then they fucking... It's a pretty poor excuse of, an, of a sort of ambush. So another thing is you need a rat tail to join the rat covenant. Now I know that we're going on, we said that we wouldn't really be touching much on covenants, but this entire area is basically just for a covenant. And this is the one you want to use by the way, so it's yeah. just at the top of the ladder, the first Faris contraption you see. And the reason why you only use this one is because this room goes down to its lower floor, um, so you don't even need to use another one because you can just come back up and backtrack to the other bonfire. And as you saw, you, you want to use it if you want to get the Hex Whisper of Despair. Mm -hmm. And of course there's Poison Moss there, there's a couple of rats that come out, but once again, like this area, you're not going to have any troubles here, um, unless you do shit like that and deflect off of the petrified rats. Yeah. Which makes very little sense as to why the rats are petrified. <laughs> They're just so good at being rats. Maybe there's some maybe themselves. there's some lore into it, but I mean it's from soft and it's B team, so all the lore in this game is speculative at best. So as you can see, you you'll need that one fire slot stone. Although there is another bridge that you can lower on the bottom floor, it doesn't matter because it's literally two seconds away, so there's no point in wasting yeah. a fire slot stone. You just go up a ladder, drop the bridge that side, and that's you, it saves you a fire stone. And this is the bonfire we're talking about. This is the other bonfire and it's right outside the boss, so Well, we say boss. It's right but. outside the what's meant to be a boss. Now, all we're going to do for this area, by the way, is just bulk up a little because... In fact, you don't even need to bulk up. We're going to put the Chloranthi ring on because stamina. Of course, keep that silver ring on because every time you kill a rat in this area, you get souls. And there's a lot of rats in this boss. The way this boss works is you kill X amount of rats and then the boss comes in, then you kill the boss. Yeah. That simple. So you're getting about 100 souls per rat kill rate now, which doesn't seem much, but you don't have to kill like 10 rats, which is 1,000 souls. Which is still actually nothing, really. Especially it's, at this point in the game. It's I mean, three life gems. If you want, you can just kill these rats infinitely, but why bother? Yeah. It's really, like, we're already 15 levels higher than we need to like, be. So. The, the other guide made this trivial fight even more trivial by using Heavenly Thunder. But, of course, FromSoft patched Faith to the point where we didn't feel it was worth using to beat the game with. Yeah. But, of course, you can obviously Soul Vessel into that if you want to. Now, the reason why we're not using Spin to win here is because, as you can see, there is a lot of rat statues. Yeah. Which is a bit of a pain. So, if we try to Spin to win, we're going to deflect, which isn't good. So... Basically, there's like one bigger rat that has like a slightly larger mane. It's yeah, that right one there. there. He has a mohawk. So just kill. I mean, look, it's this is meant four to be a hits, boss, but four hits and he's yeah dead, dead. And of course, once you kill him, all the other rats leave. Now you can continue to kill them, so you can get some drops or anything like that. But that's pretty much it. Now you do get the rat tail vanguard soul as well as the rat tail. You need the rat tail to join the covenant, as we've told you. This is the guy you got to talk to, and we'll tell you what the soul does in just a second. Right. So. This guy is the, he's the leader of the Rat Covenant. Now, basically, you need to join the Covenant to get stuff like everyone else, uh, basically. You know, with Targary, you need to have a token of Fidelity, join the Covenant to talk to him, so he's a bit, a bit like that. But really, there's almost no point. Um, he sells like a few interesting items, but this is my problem with this entire area. You need to come through Grave of Saints to join the Rat Covenant, and the whole area is about 
like being in the Rat Covenant to like annoy people and protect it. But you can skip the area completely, so it makes the whole area completely pointless because it's all it is is stopping people from joining the Covenant. It's not like uh, the uh, the like the what the fuck's the Covenant? Bellkeeper. Called? Not the Bellkeeper. No, that's the, the same. That's the exact same concept. In Dark Souls One. Um, Gravelord Servant? Oh my no. god, what the fuck is it called? The fucking Garden Covenant! Oh right, um, the uh, Forest Hunters Cat Covenant, yeah. Right, it's not like that where it was protecting a boss that needed to be done in the game, where you had to go through it. It was yeah. nothing like that. Like, this is completely optional, so it's such a fucking pointless area. So, that's my rant on that done. Just drop down from the Covenant guy and just continue on. Obviously, we'll go more in, in depth with Rat Covenant itself in another video, but we just wanted you know to explain mm -hmm. the area in this video. And just to cover the boss, so we just got there. Um, it was Royal Rat Authority, so yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no, that, it was the Vanguard. Oh, it's the Royal Rat Vanguard, right? The Royal Rat Authority, so actually has a use. The Royal Rat Vanguard, so however, I'm just going to look this up right now. Um, as far as I'm aware, there isn't a particularly good use about it. So here we are for another jumping area, and this is to get the disc bell, or the bell chime, or something, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, uh, disc bell chime. Disc chime, there we go. Alright, so what the Royal Rat Soul does is you trade it to Strayed for Toxic Miss Pyromancy. There we now, go. I mean, that's... That's kind of good, to be honest. But Dark Fog is better. Yeah. It, Dark Fog yeah. poisons insanely quickly, and Poison and Toxic are pretty, like... Although the although the moss doesn't say so, poison moss does remove toxic as well. So I mean, take what you will with it, because it's not it's not exactly that good a pyromancy when you've got dark fog, which is infinitely better. The point is, it's not even that good a boss either. So yeah, it's trivial. Yeah, I, I know that our our, our uh, commentating is a little bit less professional in this area, I guess, but there isn't really a lot to talk about. Much. Yeah. Like, there's not really a lot in this entire area. There's, really, there's only one more thing worth grabbing in this entire area, and it's a faith miracle. Yeah. So, you know how we feel about faith right now, so... so I mean, this one is handy if you're willing to invest in it, because the statue that you invest in this, you can use Sacred Oath as well, which is also very good. But this is great heal. So, yeah, I mean... If you do have the stats, it, it does obviously give you, mm -hmm. I guess, more Estus. Or if you don't have the stats, you can get Great Heal Excerpt from Lycia, which is the exact same as Great Heal. It has lower stat requirements, but you only got one cast of it, but you can just use Amber Herb and restore that cast and use it again if you need to. Yeah. If you've got time to Great Heal, you've got time to Amber Herb and Great Heal again, otherwise you're doing it wrong. So, so I kind of fucked that bit up there. Yeah, I don't even know what you're attempting to do here. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, those ladders are on either side. And I just, did, did I just... No, yeah. you, no, no, you go down and get it. Yeah. Okay. So you pick up the human effigy, and then there's another item down here as well. Where this is where you get the token of spite. Now Which you need to join the Bob Covenant, the Brotherhood of Blood, after you've beaten the horse boss. So if you want to see, you get right. The token of spite allows you to uh, talk to Titchy Gren in Huntsman's Copse. So if you want to see what that's about, go watch the Huntsman's yeah. Copse episode. It's kind of exactly like having a rat tail for the Rat King Covenant. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you just go and talk to him, and then. If you have a token of spite, you, he will allow you to talk to him. And then you can buy probably the only item you want to buy off of him, really, is the, um, if you want to do PvP anyways, the Red Sign Soapstone. Yeah. So anyway, there's a token of spite. That, this just means that you can technically um, join his covenant without going without using a red eye orb or anything yeah. like that. Otherwise, you have to um, like invade someone to get a token of spite. But a lot of things drop red eye orbs and stuff anyway, so mm. you can get a token of spite regardless. But if you don't do that, then this is how you join the covenant. Like, for instance, yeah. if you want to talk to him without being online and buy some of his items. Mm -hmm. So but you need to go otherwise. do the drops that we just done there, and that takes you to the bonfire in the gutter. And that is pretty much it for this episode. Like, I mean, that is that is Grave of Saints. Like, it's trivial. It's almost, it's completely unneeded, to be honest, because. Like we said, you can join the Rat Covenant later on in the game in an area that far more actually you actually get more traffic in the area that you can join it later on in the game. You get more things that you can utilize later on in the game. But the whole purpose of the Covenant defeats itself yet again. So yeah. it just doesn't make sense why you'd want to join a Covenant where your objective is to stop people getting to the boss that they need to kill to join the fucking Covenant. <laughs> but I mean. Like see, see if there's like a cut, cut your nose off to spite your face. See if like the dragon was down there and the whole point of the covenant was to stop people getting ash and mist heart or something like that. I could maybe see it just like being like it's the being a dick covenant, but at the same time it's still yeah. The covenant serves to protect optional bosses, and um, so that's the end of the video. As per usual, guys, click the box on the left to go to the previous video, 
and click the box on the right to go to the right vid the next video, which is going to be the gutter. Now, links are on screen. Facebook and Twitter are right there. Twitch stream is also there. And, of course, there is a donation link in the description down below if you guys do want to donate to us, which someone actually did donate um, $15 to us earlier on in the week. So thank you very much for that. Dan Fuller, well, was that I believe off? the name was. that was. off stream? That was off stream, oh, yes. So. Um... But yeah, don't feel obliged to donate, guys. Just watching the video is enough. Liking yeah. it, commenting it, even just subscribing is perfect, guys. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's it for this video. But we'll see you the next part in the gutter, which is a very intensive area. So And it is actually a relevant area. Yeah, so um, I guess we'll see you for that, that video then. See you guys later. Bye.